What do elaborate pies? Want some? Oh no, girl, get that away. Get that away. Growing up, my family, like I said, is very loving, but they're also very competitive. Just like, like you. Just like me. See, this is where I get it from. And combination animal sounds have in common? That they're all made by adding things on top of each other? Yeah, I didn't think that there was an answer to that question. But also, they're all a part of this podcast. It's time for the Lego Friends Podcast! Presented by Lego Friends. I'm one half of the pod pair, Presley Hosbach. And I'm Karis Rogers. In this episode, we'll be trying to keep it together. I think that's what we try and do every episode. And I know <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but this time, it's more about coming together through caring for our community. Right, and the responsibilities that we have to our community as we grow up. For instance, the community of Hard Lake and Autumn's House. Where Autumn and all of the Lego friends like to see nature up close with binoculars, bake, and play with all the animals together. And those animals inspired our first game. This game is called Animal Mashup. We'll see and hear from a new animal mashup and work together to guess which two animals make up this new one. Like if the baby horse and the dog at Autumn's house, they would maybe be called a dorse? Or a hog? Oh wait, that's taken. <laughs> Never mind. First, we'll hear what sound this new animal would make. Then get to see what it would look like. And last, we'll get the mashup name of the animal. The sooner we get it, the more points we get. Ooh, I love points. <laughs> Let's <laughs> get <too>. started. <laughs> Elephant and Elephant dog. Elephant and dog, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh poodle. poodle! It's an Ellie Poo. <laughs> Ellie Poo. Ellie Poo. That was All good. Right, we got, got that one. Yeah, All right, you ready for the second points. one? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, uh, <laughs> An ostrich and a pig. Oh, a bird. <laughs> is it a? Is it one of those big, tall birds? But the, but the. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I got the sound on point. Stop playing. A siren. <laughs> a oh, giraffe. that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. A giraffe and a duck. A giraffe. Maybe I've never heard a giraffe before. A I didn't even think they made that. That's sound. a giraffe. A goat. A, 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 a goose and a giraffe. Oh, wow. We could do better. <laughs> All right, you ready? <laughs> yes. A lion. <laughs> and what is that thing huffing and puffing into the mic it like that? Like a puppy. <laughs> a French bulldog. It's a, a flamingo and a pug. A, a flug. flug. That's kind of cute. Imagine a pink <laughs> pug. Oh, that would be so cute. Do you know that flamingos, when they're born, aren't pink? Really? Mm -hmm. What color are they? It's all you knew, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they're white. <laughs> a hawk. A hawk and a, and a, um, a dolphin. Yes. A hawkin. Wait for a <laughs> That was so good. That was good. We got so Period. many good points for that one. That's a uh, horse. No, no, it's me. Wait, yes, it is. What is that horse? But what is it called? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, no. horse. Who didn't even let me think? Uh, that's okay. Next one. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a chicken. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh wait. Oh, a sloth. I don't know if I like that. That's a sloth. What is the thing that moves slowly? <laughs> is it a possum and a sloth? No, for real, what is that? <laughs> it's a, isn't like a wombat an animal or something? A wombat is an animal. Ha, ha, I told you. I've never heard of that a day wombat in my life. Wombat and a, um, and a, um. Karis, can, can you help me out here? I wombat. already gave up. I don't even know what that is. The wombat is a wombat and a meerkat. A wombat and a meerkat. Oh. Hey, I was close though. Wombat, wombcat. A fish. A fish. And a hawk. It's a bird. What are those birds? Eagle! E yeah, eagle! Fish and an eagle! A seagull! It's a sea! It's a seahorse! Yes! Ah! Yes! <laughs> ah, I got that! I got that! Oh, look at me, I'm smart. Yeah, guys! Woo! Woo! We got so many points! I think my favorite was the horse and the snake. I got that. A snores. <laughs> Did I get that? No, you didn't. You got the seagull. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The flug was my favorite. Oh, yeah. The flug, I was like, what is going on with these sound effects? I was very much confused. <laughs> I was confuzzled. <laughs> confuzzled. 
There is a lot of responsibility that comes with growing up. What kind of responsibilities come with being a part of a community? Just doing your part, I definitely think. Yeah. It's like everybody needs to do your part. It can't just be like certain people. Ooh, one thing I love about being a part of my community is that I know that I'm able to help. And being able to see people smile every day, knowing that I was able to inspire them or help them, I feel like that just makes me feel 10 times better about myself. I also consider my family a community, and I'm just super grateful to have such an amazing supportive family. My family, like I said, is very loving, but they're also very competitive. Just like, like you. Just like me. See, this is where <laughs> I get it from. Growing up, all we would do is play games and everything, and we're all so competitive. Does your family, like, follow rules, like, playing games? Like, are there any cheaters? Like, what's going on? I want to know the whole um, spiel. Well, honestly... My grandpa is such a cheater, and he has not taught- Not grandpa. Now yes. you call grandpa out? <laughs> Sometimes when I was younger, he would teach me how to cheat, and I would always cheat in card games to beat my older cousins. I'm, just, I'm telling. Everybody knows. It's like a known thing in my family. I'm just competitive alone. I think I was born like that. No one else <laughs> in my family is. What type of rules do you think are good to follow, and what rules would you rather ignore or, like, change? You shouldn't follow- the like, trends all the time. Yeah, and like the expectations of other people. Everyone can't be the same at yeah. all. You have to be different. You have to stand out. Every day I always have to remind myself I have to say affirmations to myself. Either that's just saying things that you love about yourself in the mirror or writing it down in a journal or anything. Yeah, that is so important. Society makes every like can make you sometimes feel like you have to be exactly like everybody else. Yeah, when fitting into it's a standard literally that like I don't the want opposite. To. Exactly. Yeah. Not letting other people uh, make me feel like I can't be myself is like a huge mm -hmm. boundary. Like yeah. if I'm friends with someone who makes me feel like I can't be who I truly am, like mm -hmm. immediately that's like a no for me. Yeah. Because I sometimes still struggle with that. I feel like a lot of people do. So it's really cool that like you like feel that already. And sometimes it is hard to stay positive. We have sad days. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you got to walk in a room and just make sure your crown is straight. I feel like that comes with knowing who you are and actually loving yourself. And yeah. I feel like that could take years for some people. And it took me years. But, you know, it's all about growing and just going through different experiences and just having that support system for your, your community, either that's your family, siblings, or friends, or anybody. Yeah, I agree. Let's play another game. Presented by Lego Friends. Ever since you said Autumn likes to bake pies, I've been dreaming of some baked goods. Well, this is good news because this game is called Easy As Pie. Each of us has to put together a pie from one of Autumn's family recipes. And each of the ingredients comes with a rule that we need to follow in order to get the ingredients. And whoever finishes their pie first wins. Let's do this. Wait, I can't get it off. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. Well, Wait fine. a minute. Ew. Oh, here it is. Found Blind it. Blind pudding. Apply using your bare hands. I don't, I don't know this about this. This is nasty. <laughs> <gasps> the Ooh, things are do. looking. Oh, mine's breaking. Oh. This is so sad. Okay. What's the first ingredient? Big jam. Uh, this does not need to look good. What am I doing? Ten gummy worms. Excuse me. No, move. I'm, trying to, yes. I'm still trying to find my yes. first ingredient. <laughs> I feel like you guys are saying, oh, found it. Do the robot <laughs> while applying. Sing happy birthday while One. spreading. Two. We do this with our hands. You have to read what it says. Happy Three, birthday five, to five, you. Happy six, birthday seven, to eight. you. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Sprinkle of cookie crumbs. Okay, what's next? Three handfuls cookie of crumbs, cream cookie spinach. Cookie crumbs. Ew. Cookie crumbs. Do you see cream spinach? Oh, Press it will crumble it myself. <laughs> oh, these cookies look really good. Carish, how's it going over there? I don't know, because I haven't found cream. That's whipped cream. Okay. Here. Oh, no. There you go. Oh, this is <laughs> five Ew. dogs of whipped cream. Okay, run One away, walk only. around the table with each handful. One dollop only. Ew. One dollop only, guys. Ah. Oh, I see it. Period. Wait. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Period. My hands are too slippery for this. Do you think someone would eat this? Okay. What's it? Six slices. Wait, this six is slices. One dollop only. Mushrooms. Two. I saw mushroom. Where? Is this a riddle? Okay. This is not even like. This is an escape room. 
One. Dice it two. Okay. Oh, now Listen I'm gonna hurry. Full layer of mashed potatoes. I saw that somewhere. Three. Okay, apply with frosted bag. Okay. Four. Ah, five. She's cheating. Okay. Nice. Three cherries. Okay. There we go. Cherries? Oh. <laughs> okay, Can what's next? Rinse? Sprinkle of chopped green onions. Have you seen chopped green onions? No, have you seen cherries? Found them. Is this like a red Oh gas? wait, now it won't open. Oh no. Apply using only your teeth. Bob for cherries. Apply from behind the scallion line. Done. <laughs> oh my god. I'm done. I finished. I won. Ew, that smells awful. Your pie looks so bad. <gasps> oh, oh no, not mine falling apart. This looks really good, actually. <laughs> Want some? Oh no, girl, get that away. Get that yeah. away. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks good. You should try. Look, My, I'll try a crust. Look, taste the piece. My verse. But don't forget, you can check out the new Lego Friends animated series and Presley. How do you like your potatoes? Roasted? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Turn on. Oh <laughs> Who's cleaning this? That is all for this episode of The Lego Friends Podcast. Presented by. Lego friends. Was that sour cream?